Hey Trail Kreitzer here at Go Hunt. Uh, today I want to run through some of my mid-season to even late season Sitka clothing options. Sitka systems are built in layers. I wanted to run through a layer system, one of them that's my favorite. I also wanted to touch on some individual pieces, especially the pants that I think would be great options for mid to late season hunting. So with that, I'm just going to jump in real quick and run through these and just kind of give you an idea of what my favorite pieces are. Sitka's lineup is robust. I mean, they have all different types of pieces that you can mix and match to make work for you. Uh, I'm simply going to touch on what I have found to be my personal favorites, uh, and I'm just going to run through those. First and foremost, I'm going to talk about pants. Uh, I think there are three pairs of pants that are my favorites for mid to late season type of hunting. The first is probably better towards early to mid season. Uh, and that's the Sitka Apex pant. Uh, the reason I would say that it makes a great mid-season type of pant is you do have this micro fleece, uh, kind of a raised backing on the back of this pant. It's not really a fleece, it's just kind of a raised backing. This pant is super soft. This is probably the quietest pant of all the pants in the Sitka lineup. Um, I find the fit on this pant to be uh, more slim and athletic, uh, kind of a tapered fit. Uh, this is my personal favorite for bow hunting. Uh, I would say early season muzzleloader hunting and maybe even into those October uh, second seasons or even the early rifle seasons in Utah. Uh, this is the Sitka Apex pant. It's, like I said, it's one of my very favorite mid-season, maybe early to mid-season options. Uh, the second pant that I wanted to touch on is I would say the best mid-season type of pant. This is the Sitka Mountain pant. Uh, it's got a medium weight, uh, so it's a little bit heavier duty. Um, you've got a couple of cargo pockets on both sides. You have a couple of zip hand pockets. Um, you can also add the knee pads. Uh, I personally do like the knee pads. I've probably pulled these ones out and put them in another pair of pants at this point. Um, these come in different colors, so you can get them in open country. You can also get them in subalpine, and you can also get them in this dirt color, uh, which I like. Um, this is, like I said, probably my very favorite mid-season type of pant. Uh, I'll wear this pant muzzleloader hunting, I'll wear it on the rifle hunt. Uh, I wore it last year moose hunting in Alaska. Uh, this is just a hard wearing, do everything, middle season kind of pant. Heavy duty enough, you can definitely get away with some wear and tear in it and I really like this pant. Uh, the next pant that I wanted to touch on is the Sitka Timberline pant. This is a personal favorite of a lot of people. Uh, it's got a built-in belt, which is kind of nice. You can cinch that in. It's a low profile, so it's not going to rub on your pack, on your hips or your back. Uh, I do like that feature. Probably the biggest difference between the Timberline and the Mountain Pant, you can see are these reinforced waterproof knees and seat. So if you're doing some sitting in some wet ground, some snow, uh, if you're doing some glassing off your butt, this is a great feature to have. You have a zip hand pocket. You also have the two cargo pockets on the sides with additional zip pockets here. You've also got zip hand pockets here. Uh, this is an absolutely killer pair of pants. Uh, the Timberline pant, again, is one of my very favorites. Uh, I've worn that on late season hunts on Kodiak Island. So when I went in November and hunted Kodiak, uh, for Sitka Blacktail Deer, this is the pant that I wore. Uh, I wear that pant a lot late season in that late October, November time frame. That's a great pair of pants. So starting down here, I'm going to work through some of the tops. Uh, again, building is a system um, from layers, a base layer up through your mid layers and then your insulation and then waterproof layers. So right here on the end, I've got the Sitka Core lightweight hoodie. I like hoods and everything. Um, it just keeps the wind off your neck and your ears. Sometimes the sun beats down on you. You can simply pull that up and over. It's also got the built-in face mask, which is nice. If you are doing some bow hunting or some spot and stock and you want full concealment, you can just simply pop that up and over, cover your face and you're good to go. You got a quarter zip where you can dump some heat. Uh, I really like the weight of this for a base layer. Dries extremely quick. Um, and I've worn this days and days on end. It doesn't stink. It's got built-in odor control, which is nice. Uh, I really like this Sitka Core lightweight hoodie as my base piece. They do make this in a crew also, a long sleeve crew, and then also a crew t-shirt, which is another nice option for you. If you just don't want that hoodie, you just want a long sleeve t-shirt, essentially, they do make that as well. One of my next favorite pieces, which I've talked about a whole bunch, is the Sitka Core heavyweight hoodie. Uh, Sitka also makes a mid-weight crew. I do wear that quite a bit also. Um, I wore that actually a ton when I was just in Colorado uh, archery elk hunting. Um, we had cool temperatures and I ended up wearing that midweight hoodie over the top of that core lightweight hoodie. I wore that all the time just as my two base layers. 
Uh, but this core heavyweight hoodie has always been one of my favorite. It's probably, I would say, like the staple um, of my Sitka system. I just love this thing. Um, I can wear it midday, middle, mid season or late season if it's warm enough. Um, it insulates really, really well. It dries very quickly. You do have a zip pocket. You've got a built-in hood. Again, I love a hood in any top that I have. Uh, you've got built-in uh, thumb hooks, which is great if you're adding layers over the top of this. It's going to keep that down uh, on your wrist when you're adding extra layers. Uh, most often, I find that I'm wearing this over the top of my core lightweight hoodie. A lot of the times, if it's warm enough on those early October to mid-October hunts, I may end up just wearing the core lightweight, the core heavyweight, maybe a jacket, and then I'm gonna shed the jacket and end up wearing this most of the day. So once again, this is one of my very favorite pieces of all time that Sick has produced. This is the core heavyweight hoodie. Um, just an absolute staple for me. I would suggest if you're looking at getting into a system, take a good look and buy this core heavyweight hoodie. Uh, a next piece that I wanted to touch on, uh, I've been becoming more and more fond of. Um, it, the first year that it came out, I would take it occasionally. Seems like now I hardly ever leave home without it. I really like this jacket. That's the Kelvin Active Jacket. So it's got some light insulation, uh, some Polar Tech. When you put this thing on, it just feels almost quilted. It's got a very nice feel to it. Uh, it is a jacket. You've got one pocket here on the uh, chest. You also got a couple of hand pockets. Uh, one of the things I like about this jacket is how quickly it dries. So you can wear this jacket, you can get hot in it, you can sweat out in it. You know, you can wear this thing, you know, beyond that and essentially your body heat's going to dry it. But I find that for me, the thing that I like most about it is the warmth to weight ratio. It's extremely warm for as much as it weighs. Um, and that's a jacket, like I said, I've been using more and more and more, especially in the last year or two. I really like that Kelvin Active jacket. Uh, they do make a Kelvin Active hoodie that has cap sleeves, so short sleeves uh, and a hoodie. I wear that quite a bit when I'm bow hunting just for that string clearance from my elbow to my wrist, so I'm not going to have any interference with my string. You can kind of look and see which one makes more sense for you and the type of hunting you're doing. I do really like that Kelvin Active jacket though. Uh, another piece, again, kind of along those same lines that um, I didn't know how much I would use it. I haven't been a tremendous fan of soft shell jackets for hunting, but this is a jacket that I've found, again, I'm taking it more and more often with me. Um, and this is the Sitka Mountain Jacket. Uh, this has wind stopper built into it. So if you're on an exposed ridge, you're getting some high winds, you're getting that cold, brisk breeze in the morning or in the evening. This is a really nice jacket to layer over the top of some of these midweight pieces. Uh, this Sitka Mountain Jacket with wind stopper, like I said, it cuts that wind down almost completely. So once again, this is the mountain jacket with wind stopper. I really, really like it. Again, chest pocket, two hand pockets. I've been using this thing a whole lot more uh, recently. Uh, moving over into more insulation type pieces. Um, this is the uh, Sitka Kelvin Light Down. This is a brand new piece for them, but it's a nice insulation piece. Again, weight to warmth ratio. Uh, it's awesome. So less than a pound, uh, super warm. So I would say for like most mid season type of hunts, this would be all you would need uh, over the top of some of these, maybe one or two of these. And you know, you add a, a rain shell, a hard shell on top of that, you'd have everything that you ever needed for any kind of conditions. Uh, ideally, I would say this is a mid to late October, maybe even no early November uh, type of insulation piece. Super lightweight. You can backpack with this. It compacts really, really well. So once again, that's the Kelvin light down jacket from Sitka. Super nice jacket. I really like it a lot. Uh, moving over into like their warmest jacket, uh, we have the Sitka Kelvin Down Jacket. So this is, you know, different than the light. This is a more heavy duty down jacket with wind stopper. This is by far their warmest layer. So if you're doing expedition style hunting and you're hunting really cold, wet environments, you really need to retain that body heat. I would highly suggest this Kelvin Down Jacket with wind stopper. You're gonna cut the wind, it's gonna be extremely warm. If I did take this jacket last year with me uh, on my moose hunt to Alaska when it was really cold, uh, even in late September up there, we had some really cold temperatures. Uh, I've worn that on my mountain goat hunt, for example, when we were hunting in late October at 13,000 foot. If you're looking for a jacket that's gonna provide the most warmth for you within the Sitka lineup, uh, take a good hard look at this Sitka Kelvin down jacket with wind stopper. Uh, again, another jacket that I've pulled, kind of the hard shell that I really like. Um, left mine at home, but I pulled this from the gear shop. Uh, this is a Sitka Cloudburst jacket. 
Currently, this is the lightest weight option for rain gear for hard shell that they make. Um, rumor is they may have something coming in this next year along those same lines, but this is a rain shell, completely Gore-Tex, waterproof. It's going to take care of, uh, you know, all that wet weather, whether snow or rain. Um, I like to layer that over my insulation layer. So you can see I have a system essentially starting from core lightweight hoodie, core heavyweight hoodie, Kelvin active jacket, uh, insulation mid layer with the Kelvin lightweight down hoodie. And then potentially if you need it, moving into those later, later seasons, like extremely cold, you know, Colorado third season, Colorado fourth season, you might start looking at this Kelvin down jacket with wind stopper. And then, like I said, a hard shell over the top of that, like the Sitka Cloudburst. You know, if you're hunting Alaska and you're gonna be busting brush, at that point, you might look at the Stormfront series because that's a really heavy duty Gore-Tex rain gear uh, pant and jacket. Uh, and then finally, a couple accessories I would touch on. The Sitka Ballistic Vest, which I really like. You got some built-in padding here in the shoulder, which I can appreciate. Uh, you also got a couple of pockets, and I really like that magnetic closure, just clasp. It's easy to get on and off. A couple other pieces I'm gonna to touch on here on the end, uh, which I think are must have for mid to late season hunting. Uh, one of them being the Sitka Stormfront Gator. This is a really nice gator. Um, you know, Gore-Tex, waterproof, completely uh, watertight. Um, if you need to make sure that you keep your boots and your socks dry, this Sitka Stormfront Gator is a great option. Uh, and then gloves, so like mid to late season gloves, uh, I still really like the Sitka Traverse Club. I'll often wear that just as a standalone, whether that's midday, um, you know, and the weather's a little bit better, the temperatures are warmer, and you just need something to kind of take that edge off. Uh, I really like that Sitka Traverse Glove. So another glove that I really like for this time of year, mid-season to late season, is the Sitka Mountain Glove. Uh, you've got Gore Windstopper built within that thing, so it's gonna stop the wind, kind of take that edge off your fingers if you're out glassing for a long time. It's got the leather palm, which is great for gripping things. So whether you're carrying a rifle or a tripod or your binos, um, you've got nice grip on that. Uh, I feel like this is a really nice weighted glove for that mid season hunt. Uh, and then moving into that late season, Sitka also makes what they call the blizzard mitten, which is a full mitten that you can put on for when things get really bad. Um, but these are some of my favorite systems for mid to late season hunting. Um, if I had to pull from these and kind of say that which ones are my favorite, uh, I would typically say that Sitka Mountain Pant is a staple for my mid-season, as well as that heavyweight hoodie. I love the core lightweight hoodie. And then like I said, increasingly, I'm really liking that Sitka Kelvin Active Jacket. Um, and their new insulation layers are money. Um, so this new Kelvin Light Down Hoodie is a great piece. Uh, if you have any questions about any of this apparel or any of the other apparel that fits also within their system, uh, please reach out. Uh, once again, this is my kind of my personal favorite for mid to late season hunting. Uh, we would love it if you would like and subscribe to our channel. Um, you know, all this stuff we have in the gear shop right now. So just pop in there, get yourself some new apparel and go hunting.